Hey there, Falcon fans and Falcon newcomers. This is Paul Fields. I wanted to tell you about what I think is one of the underappreciated uh, effects in the UVI Falcon arsenal. It's called the Ensemble 505, and it's kind of modeled after the chorus units that you would find in the, the Roland Juno uh, synthesizers, um, some older ones. And it's got a few different modes that you can use and really transform uh, an, a vintage sounding polysynth um, into something completely just gorgeous. Um, I have here just a really simple uh, polysynth patch. It's just just a little bit of, uh, you know, it's a saw, a little bit of white noise and a, a square underneath and uh, acting as a sub. And I have a little bit of oscillator drift on it, not much. Uh, and uh, you can tell there's no panning. So this is right straight up and down the middle. I figured that would be easiest to tell what's going on with the Ensemble 505 when you use it. So, you know, here is, a, you know, here's a just a, a kind of standard chord, uh, uh, you know, just with the synth by itself. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the effects and I'm going to drag in the Ensemble 505. And I'm just going to pop this up at the layer level. I'm going to turn the tone up uh, so that it's uh, at its uh, so it's it's operating uh, across the maximum frequency range. Uh, this is mode one. And again, I'm going to turn this off really quick so you can hear the difference. Here's a chord uh, without. All right, so you get a sense of that. And here's with. Whoa, that's gorgeous. I mean, come on. That's amazing. I mean, it just sounds great. There's also a second mode which uh, gives you like kind of a, a, a more of a flangey and you know, a wider modulation sound, and it sort of softens up the stereo image a little bit too. Also amazing. Um, there's a third mode, and a lot of the synths back then didn't really have a third switch, at least the Juno 106 that I had back when I was in college. My recollection is there wasn't a third switch, but you could hit switches one and two and it would give you this third mode. And it's kind of wild. It's really both of the courses laid on top of each other. So it gets a little bit loud, in my opinion. <laughs> Still very nice, though. I mean, totally usable, and uh, you can probably think of pads where you can use it. You can turn, of course, you have, there's a mix knob. You can bring this down a little bit, maybe bring it a little more under control. So you get a, some of the dry signal and then about 40% of the wet. That sounds beautiful, too. Um, but this is just, I mean, it's an amazing, it just is. Just an amazing sound. Uh, if you're... You know, if you're doing some uh, something where you want that that kind of vintage Juno sound, um, sounds great on basses. Uh, you know, whatever it is that you that you want to do, pads, keys, whatever. Um, let me know in the comments uh, what you use the Ensemble Five Hundred Five for, and also uh, do me a favor and drop me a comment. Let me know if there's something you would like to see me cover in a UVI Falcon short video, uh, just talking about some feature or something else that, uh, that you're looking to pass on. If there's a tip for somebody happy to do a video, of, uh, of these, I'm going to try and do some more of these in the future. Um, in the meantime, uh, have fun making things. And as you do, make sure to put them out there in the world, share them, share what you're making. And, uh, until then have a lot of fun with Falcon and I'll see you next time.